to another real talk reaction this one is for 30 rock season 2 episode number one don't forget to like and subscribe hit the notification bell as well tell a friend to tell a friend you know what to do it helps the algorithm so all y'all come through Alright, so a couple comments for the last episode starting with executive producer JoJo who says, Even with a hugely solid cast of mem memorable characters on this show, Kenneth may be the most truly iconic. I love Jay Rabbit's reaction to the idea of a romantic story between Liz and Jack. No. Yeah. <laughs> I would just uh, say to remember that, that the show is vaguely autobiographical and also a good parallel for the Muppet show. So ask yourselves, do you think Tina Fey and Lauren Michaels ever had a romantic relationship or Kermit and Sam the Eagle? That might make things a little bit clearer. Great reaction. Looking forward to the cavalcade, I think. I might have got it right. I don't know. Of guest stars. Yeah, I did put that word in the comments okay. again. I'm evil. Okay. Let me know if I got it right. Uh, by the word way. Word of the day. I uh, don't know if you guys recognize that Kenneth's cousin was played by Sean Hayes, uh, also known as Just Jack from Will and Grace. Yeah, Will and Grace. Uh, okay. That makes sense. Not Dharma and Grace. Yeah, um, really then we got E coming through to say, glad that you enjoyed the season finale. RJ had me just sitting there with a drop jaw when he spoke about romantic tension. I mean, no spoilers, but uh, anyway. I love how Jay Rabbit related the Jack and Liz relationship to a more Ron and Leslie relationship, although I think Jack is much, much more devoted to his own job and Liz is much less devoted than Ron and Leslie. Mm. I know that there are a few SNL actors next season, but there is one that I'm particularly looking forward to, but no spoilers as to who, when, or how they are portrayed. I just think that the two of you both will love them showing up next season. Okay. Alright guys, well let's jump into season two right now. Floyd. No, I, I really am, Jack. I'm telling you, I'm this is my year. I feel like the show's going to be great, and I'm very positive that I'm going to meet someone else. Nicolene, and women your age are more likely to be mauled at the zoo than get married. Good to see you. Bye. Glad we're both doing so great. Put Floyd's name on that quilt. <laughs> to transvestite prostitutes? I don't think I didn't know that, no. It's true. He doesn't that. mess with them. He just tries to get them. I can't sleep without the sound of the ocean and the smell of bacon. Well, hurry up and get <laughs> your second wind, because I've got our day all planned out. We'll start at Bed Bath no & Beyond and normal. get all the things that you're going to need in here. Then, an old friend of mine from college is having her baby shower out on Long Island, so we'll swing by there. And for dinner, I thought we could just stay in and have the rest of that suit that I made yesterday. I'm not doing any of that. Okay, fine. I went with you to your black vampire movie, but I guess I'll just tell my friends that you have a migraine. Great compromise, office wife. So I go and do all your things, but you don't come and do any of mine. Hey. Oh, he, he, must, he must not be really happy about yeah. it. Just got back from Europe. <laughs> I need you to go to my house and pretend you're doing a survey for the Radford group. And then ask my wife if she's sleeping with D.L. Hubert. No, I'm not doing any of that. D.L. Hubert. Yes. Oh, Tracy. Tracy. Yes. Liz Lemon. In Lost, is that you guys? No. <laughs> Jerry. I like Lost too. Don't be difficult. The fact of the matter is that Seinfeld vision is perfectly legal and there's nothing you can do to stop us. I'm sorry. But it's business. Here's some business. How about I buy NBC and turn it into the biggest Lane Bryant in Midtown? <laughs> Jerry, come on. You're going to buy NBC like you've got $4 million just laying around? I do have $4 million, million dollars just laying around. And I'll come up with something you really think about. I mean, that's how my NBC got for me now. St. Bart's, I saved your life from that shark. All right, Jack. I'll come back. But I still think you shot a dolphin. Hi, 
Yeah, and they're like, episode one, we're going yes. big guns. Yeah. Th that's my dress. Do, do you want to buy that? Yes. Yeah. That looks ugly. I yeah, you'll thank me. One day, I didn't. It's visual trickery. Drawing the eye up. <laughs> hey, Lance, you gotta see this. Gentle looks better. I look pretty though. Don't push it, Bubba. Alright, that was the season premiere of 30 Rock. And hey, Jerry Seinfeld came through doing the Jerry Seinfeld thing. And I love it all day long. With... Jack being like he is, man, he, he just he's just VIP every single time. I mean MVP every single time, man. Doing a great job, cracking me up hilariously. And then Liz Lemon doing her side um, story as well was, was pretty funny. Tracy Jordan again, I'm just still finding a hard time to find some good uh funniness from him so far, but they probably got a lot in the chamber coming down, so we'll see what's going on with that. But other than that, I had a pretty good um uh, uh, time with this episode right here. I love how Jerry broke the broke the third wall and uh fourth wall, fourth wall and, and talked to the camera with his B movie. I hope they do a little bit more of that moving forward too. But right out the gate, really big star that came through. So if this is how it's gonna be for this season, I'm here for all of that. So can't wait to see another one. Yeah, I feel like they were really like setting the tone for season two. I mean, you guys have said over and over, to, uh, over and over again that season two has a lot of the uh, celebrities coming through. Uh -huh. um, I mean, they just you can't really beat Seinfeld. So this is episode one, and they're like pulling out all the stuff. So yeah. it was really good. It was really funny. I I like the Tracy Morgan and Kenneth. Um, uh, work wife scenario. I thought that worked well. Um, but yeah, to me, MVP goes to Jack and his breakdown in front of Seinfeld. That was fantastic. I don't know how Seinfeld kept a straight face because I would have lost it. I think like the angle too, it looks like he was smiling too. So it was really, there's no way you could keep a straight face. Yeah. Like he committed to that all the way and it was brilliant. So really looking forward to uh, the season and all the new celebrities we get to see coming through. So uh -huh. very excited. All right, well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for 30 Rock Season 2, Episode 1. And until next time, people, peace.